Hey everybody, welcome back to Chortle Games. I'm Jake. I'm Steven. And welcome back to another Forward Compatible. Uh, this is the preview. And of course, if you aren't familiar, Forward Compatible is a series we do here on the channel where we uh, take a game that we haven't played in about five years and we basically do a full replay uh, as a live stream of the game. And then at the end of that, we do a review. Um, basically just kind of taking a look and saying, you know, is this game forward compatible with who we are today? So that's the premise. That's what we're doing here. We've done a couple of these. Um, if you're interested, you can always go back and watch some of those. Um, but this month, they're good. They are they're they're good. great. Um, but it's spooky time here, Steven. It's October. We're ready for spooks. We're ready for jumps. We're ready for scares. Spooky, spooky skeletons. Boo, other assorted Halloween things. Steven, what are we playing this month as part of Forward Compatible? So it's been a while since we've done a Forward Compatible. It has. Uh, Last I believe one, in fact, July. As, as of this recording, we have still not finished the review for <laughs> Watch Dogs, uh, which was the last Forward Compatible that we did. It's almost done. It's almost done. It's from, my, from my point, from my end. Um, it, 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 it'll be up this month. We can pretty much guarantee that. Um, but uh, it's been a while, so I figured, uh, as as an apology uh, slash, please forgive me for not doing one of these uh, in a few months. Uh, I gave you guys the option to pick which game I play this month. I gave you three options. I picked games that I refer to as horror adjacent titles. Um, your options were the Bureau XCOM Declassified, which was kind of a X-Files uh, style third person shooter that was kind of suspenseful and a little bit of a mystery, um, that kind of game. Um, Fear, uh, AKA First Encounter Assault Recon, which is a first person shooter from all the way back in 2005 uh, that had a lot of like jump, a good bit of jump scares, um, some psychological horror, uh, just spooky vibe over overall. Um, and then Spec Ops The Line, which you hear that and you're probably like, horror game, what? Um, well, it's entirely about developing PTSD and the horrors of war and how war is awful and it's pretty graphic. So there you go. that one apparently was a little too much for some people, understandable. Uh, a quote from somebody that was voting was like, Spec Ops is too real and sad right now. And yeah. they voted for fear. Mm -hmm. So fear won. We're doing fear this month, which is probably the most horror horror -y. You said horrific. Um, I don't know if I would call I like it horrific. Horror-y better, though. Horror-y horror is, is much more memeable. So let's say that. Um, and I'm, I, I, I don't know if I can say if it's the most horrific because this is a segue. I don't remember much about this game, Jake. Right. Oh, really? Um, this, yeah. This game came out <clears throat> in 2005. Mm -hmm. um, I, it is a trilogy. I have played the first one and the third one. Um, and the third one is pretty bad. Mm. So bad, in fact, that I have a, you know how I have my my uh, principles or my uh, effects, my, 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 uh, my terms. Mm -hmm. uh, the Fear 3 principle states that any game, even Fear 3, can be fun in co-op. Um, but we're playing the first one, thankfully, which I remember being a good game. Mm -hmm. uh, the general premise is you play as, I don't know if his name is ever said in this game, but in the third game, he's called Point Man. Um, Cause I, I don't know if he ever had a name. I don't know what the whole deal is there, but you play as Point Man uh -huh. um, in a an elite uh, unit called First Encounter Assault Recon that deals specifically with like paranormal events. Uh -huh. Like they're a militarized squad that investigates the paranormal. Um, and that's about it for the premise. Uh, as far as I remember, uh -huh. uh, you're after uh, some guy named uh, Paxton Fettel, I think. He was also in the what third one. Uh, yeah, it's, he's, what a guy is what you're gonna be saying when you see him. Um, and the game, anyone who knows about fear, probably knows it, and, and I'm referring to you because you might actually know her. Um, Alma, the young girl in the red dress that's psychic. Um, she's kind of the 
the icon for fear. She is a character who you see a lot of imagery Ooh. of, and it's heavily alluded to. Did you look her up? I did. Not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> yeah. Not a, that's not, um, my vibe. not my vibe right there. She is. Uh, she is part. She. She's basically the main source of, of jump scares in this game. Um, and sh you learn a lot about her story and how it's connected to Point Man and Fettle. Um, and it's honestly pretty, pretty horrific. Mm. Um, as far as like her whole story. Um, but that's pretty much all I remember. Um, okay. and, but it has expansions. We're not doing the expansions unless if I just really have, if this campaign is so short that I knock it out in like three or four streams and you guys are just like, show us the expansions. Right. I might do that because the first expansion, if I remember right, is a direct continuation of the fear story. Mm. Whereas the, the second expansion is kind of a spinoff. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. That's our typical so. thing. Well, I was going to jump in and yeah. say quickly before anyone else jumps in the comments and says anything, uh, Steven is not prepared for this because part of this whole preview is, uh, we want to set a baseline of what are Steven's memories of this game. Strictly memories that are probably from three or four years ago, maybe five, or well, I guess the rule is five. So this one has been probably closer to 10 years. So this is something literally Steven has not touched for about nine, 10 years. So, you know, the, and the point is we want to, we want to know what he remembers without any prompting, right? If he was to do research, he might think, oh yeah, I remember that part. Or, oh yeah, I, I remember there was that guy yeah, that happened. Literally so. the only bit I've done for this game mm -hmm. is I launched it to get to the main menu to make sure it worked. Because yep. after JK2, which funny enough, was the first one we ever did, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I learned my lesson, always check from a technical standpoint if things are gonna go smoothly before you go live. Right. Otherwise, everyone's gonna have a bad time. So I did do that. Um, we had a great time. But, um, so, so, so you don't remember much, um, but what, uh, I guess, what are you, ex you, you said you remember liking the game. Mm -hmm. So what did you like about it? Do you remember anything like what I really liked? I really liked the tone. Mm -hmm. Um, when, when I think about horror games that I like, mm -hmm. and I've probably said this a bunch, that's. You know, something you can expect from me whenever I start going on rants on this channel is that it's probably something you've heard me say no fewer than five times. But I'm going to say it again, because who knows where uh, someone's jumping on point into the channel could be. So they may need to hear mm -hmm. this. Um, when I think of horror games that I like, they are always games that give you a fighting chance. Mm. Um, I understand why games like Outlast um alien isolation although i haven't played that so i don't know if you can fight back or not i just assume not um i understand why games like that um are popular with a lot of people why why they are enjoyable for some but for me the the greater aspects of fear are when you're given every opportunity to fight back mm. and it your survival is based on um you know if you can pull it off right um, it, giving you the means and having to deal with the fact that you got yourself killed in, in a way. What does that tell you about me psychologically? I'm afraid of failure, probably. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but with fear, it is an action game first. Right. Like, like it, 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 as far as I remember, it's an FPS. Mm -hmm. It's got, I, I feel like the shooting mechanics were pretty tight. Mm -hmm. Um, at least for the time. I don't know if that's going to be true today because we've come a long way in FPS mechanics. Right. Um, there's a, there's a active bullet. You can activate bullet time mm -hmm. oh. just by, by a button press. So there's a lot of slow-mo, which I'm always a fan of Interesting. that. Interesting. Um, yeah. Um, the, it, 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 I remember lying because it felt pretty unique mm -hmm. um, because it's one of those games that does feel like a uh, fast paced shooter, but it's a horror game. Right. You are seeing people like spontaneously melt um, from psychic abilities, or there's uh, a part that I remember distinctly. Um, you're climbing up a ladder and Alma pops out of an air vent and like reaches for you while you're climbing the ladder. That one got me good. <laughs> or you're in the air duct 
and uh, Metro, the Metro series, uh-huh. I feel like pro- probably did take a few things from Fear. Um, one thing pretty big that it took was whenever you're near a, um, I don't know if this is Fear did this first, but whenever you're about to have some kind of paranormal uh, experience, mm-hmm. like some, some kind of uh, event, um, your flashlight will flash and you can't control whether or not it's working. Um, Metro does that a lot and in fear they really they really wanted you to be afraid of those moments Mm. because there's one I can't remember if this is in the game or if it's in the expansion or or what but there's one where you're like going through an air duct and your flashlight starts to flicker and then you see Alma in her red dress just start to crawl like a spider towards you through the air duct and then your flashlight goes out and mm, yeah good stuff um, so I, I, I don't remember too, too much. Mm-hmm. Um, but I remember one thing I do remember is that I really wanted to find a co-op mod for it, which means I really liked the gameplay. Uh-huh. Um, and I never did find a co-op mod for it, which was a bummer. Mm. But, um, I, I, I feel like I'm going to. I feel like I'm going to enjoy it. I'm I'm actually really excited that I don't remember much about the story. Those are the best sometimes. Because I, yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like I do know a few of the bigger beats mm-hmm. of the plot because Fear 3 is a little more recent mm. in my mind. Um, but not enough to where like I don't remember specific moments that will scare me. Right. Which, that's the big one. You guys are going to enjoy this. Um I hope that I'm still scared, mm-hmm. but I don't know. The, the The graphics may not be good enough anymore. I think they'll get you. What are you expecting yeah. to? Um, what are you expecting to? Not like going back to it. L- level design. Really? Okay. I have no frame of reference for that, but JK2 has taught me a lot of things, <laughs> and that is one of those <laughs> things is that when playing older games, level design is something that came a long way. Yeah. Um, but there was a point when it sucked. Uh, and JK2's biggest problem for me was just how confusing uh, certain levels were. You got lost a lot. And, and I got lost so much. And I don't know if this game will have that problem or not. Um, I feel like with JK2, I kind of saw it coming because I knew that there was going to be some backtracking. Right. I didn't think it'd be as bad. I don't remember any backtracking in Fear. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I. What else will I not like? Um, I don't know. I don't remember how long it was. Um, I don't remember how difficult it was. I think I only beat the campaign once. Mm. So I don't know. Well, I'm excited, Stephen. Um... I'm, I'm excited yeah. to see you get spooked. I hope you get spooked. Um, and I'm excited to see what you remember as you play through it and then where we land on the review at the end of this playthrough. So it's going to be very exciting. Steven, when are we going to be starting uh, the streams for this? I'm going to be trying to start them tonight. Sweet. That's the plan. So if you're watching this live uh, right after Total Cast, um, then this is coming later tonight. Uh, so... Be sure to tune in later tonight to see the first part of this series. And then, of course, stick around because Steven will be playing this all month long, going through the entire game, as we've said. Uh, And then we'll be doing a review at the end of that. So the review will probably take a little bit longer. But uh, so it may not be October when we get the review, but it will come. I don't think it's going to be as complex as Watch Dogs. This is true. This is true. Um, But I... You never know. The problem with Watch Dogs is that I've had too much. I've had too much to say. Mm-hmm. The problem with fear that I may have is that I may not have enough to say. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't know. Um, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, I, I definitely recommend tuning in whenever you can, especially if if you're able to tune into this first one because the first ones are usually a good bit of fun. That's where most of the memes for the rest of the it sets the meme tone for it the does. rest of it the really series. Does, I think. There's a lot of problems. Um, there's a lot of a yes. lot of issues, a lot of things. Are Steven's still figuring out, so it's it's always a good time. Yeah, and um, and of course for the reviews, we 
tend to not every time, but but some of the uh, mo well, I feel like most of the time, or at least recently, uh, we do involve mm. um, your your feedback, yeah. uh, like some of your live feedback, like with the Watchdogs one. I'm trying to figure out how to in include this right now, but uh, there was a whole joke about when fire trucks were driving around in that game, they actually weren't driving anywhere, even if their sirens were mm -hmm. going, they were just kind of driving. And we turned it into a nature documentary. And I got a lot of those comments from like, uh, Tikanik, Kalen, uh -huh. uh, I think a couple others, and that's probably gonna make it in the review. Uh, so like your commentary live may be in the review and uh, it, there's a very good chance that it will, um, or, after the fact, if you watch the uh, the on-demand version uh, after it's already been live and you have a question like, hey, have you considered this part mm -hmm. of the of the story? Um, that may help me write the review. Yeah. And if if I get insight from your comments, I will credit you in the review. This is kind of, it's kind of a collaborative mm -hmm. thing. Um, I, I work best in collaboration and I love hearing back from you guys. I love knowing when you're excited about the game, uh, things you like, things you don't like, so that I can improve. Uh, so all that is very much welcome. Awesome. All right, well, that is gonna be starting tonight, so be sure to tune back in, and then, of course, all month long. So, playing Fear, it's gonna be exciting. It's time to get spooky, everybody. We will see you later tonight. Steven, thank you for doing all this. This is gonna be a lot of fun uh, to watch you do all of this. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We will see you tonight. <laughs> that was my oh. fear but you know spooky you have to laugh like a little girl <laughs> that's, that's the... that better <laughs> <laughs>